Hello everyone, in this video clip, President Conklin and I discuss how he has attempted to balance perspectives and ideas that St. Norbert College students are exposed to. This has become especially prevalent in my four years here when both Gloria Steinem and Donald Trump spoke on our campus. Now, both of these individuals alienated very different parts of the population, and President Kunkel was forced to respond to these communities and explain why St. Norbert had the speaker on campus. In the midst of this criticism, President Kunkel describes why he continues to encourage the free exchange of ideas on campus. Before we dive into this video clip, I do want to let you know that I have my full video conversation with President Kunkel linked in the description box. In addition, there will be a podcast component released in about a week or so. But let's jump right into our conversation on how colleges are responsible for fostering open discourse, even in difficult times and tense times like today. What do you think in terms of the balance of ideas at a liberal arts institution or any college in general? I know there's been you know, controversies over just my time here, the last four years about having speakers on campus, you know, everyone from Gloria Steinem to Donald Trump visiting. Um, and obviously there's a difference there in um, people who agree and disagree, yes, so to right. say it mildly. <laughs> uh, how do you balance, well, first of all, you as a president, how do you navigate those difficult periods where you have to balance those things? Well, it's, that's gotten harder. I mean, that's probably, I mean, that's always been a challenge for higher education. But uh, it certainly, until fairly recently, there was a general consensus in the in the nation that uh, among civilized people that you know colleges are a place. I mean, they are about ideas. That's what colleges are. And so, uh, you know, so part of that responsibility is that you bring people onto campus that have different perspectives. And it doesn't mean you necessarily agree with. Everybody, I don't agree with much of what Donald Trump says, but I mean, we have a long-standing policy of allowing bona fide political candidates to come to campus to, you know, to talk about their ideas. Uh, you know, we think it's part of our contribution to the public dialogue and the public discourse. Uh, but it's, you know, but with the culture wars, the political wars, the, you know, the uh, the deepening divide between segments of our society. Colleges have become, you know, kind of caught in the crosshairs now, and so that gets it's much tougher, and it's complicated immensely by social media and the internet. You know, when we had, um, you know, uh, so you know, you mentioned when Gloria Steinem was here. Mm -hmm. I, you know, we lost track, but we probably had at least ten thousand people that wrote, called, emailed, one way or another. Many of them saying, "Fantastic, good on you, way to go." more saying, you know, how dare you, and how could you, and, uh, and, it, and of course, I'd venture to say 95% of those people couldn't find De Pere, Wisconsin on a map if their life depended on it. They mm -hmm. just heard about it, you know, somebody mm -hmm. say, hey, did you see this? And, and, you know, what's happening at this college in Wisconsin, this is outrageous, so get up, make sure you sign this in internet petition sort of thing. Yeah. You know, that's fine, um, but it just, it's, it's, it's just helping, you know, further this, this, this shrill sense in the country uh, that I think is, you know, it's, it's not a good moment, you know, for our country, and colleges are in the middle of it, but it's imperative that we navigate it to kind of get back to your question, because if, if we can't have legitimate public discourse on the college campus and you can't have a free exchange of ideas, where can you? Mm -hmm. In many ways, it's we're almost, you know, the last bastion of that kind of civility, or one hopes. Uh, and there's no hope for America or anything else unless thoughtful people can't have dialogue. So we've got to hang on to that <clears throat> responsibility and that obligation harder than ever in an environment that's harder than ever. It, you know, it just, I think it makes that piece of what we do all the more important. It's exhausting. I mean, you know, nobody likes, you know, getting punched all the time, but yeah. it's, you know, it's the price you pay, you know, to, uh, to do what, you know, people expect you to do.